viewers and subscribers, walk go on, walk go on, walk go on. Zion here coming at you again with another tutorial. Now if this is your first time tuning into the channel, don't be afraid, don't be shy, look around, drop some thumbs up, support a brother. That red button right down there, that's a subscribe button, hit it. I promise it won't hurt. Hit the notification bell, hit all so when I post a new video, tutorial, whatever I put here, you won't miss it. And another thing, turn out that ad blocker for me please. Thank you very much. This next tutorial is from one of our living legends. Actually one of our young living legends. The man's name is Chronix. Title of the song, Here Comes Trouble. Grab the guitars. Let's go. Okay, so here we go. So this song has two cards. Two cards. As busy as it sounds, you know, as good as it sounds, it's just two cards. A stock line is there also, so I'm going to teach you guys that. Alright? So, um, let me just say, my guitar is clean. There's nothing whatsoever on my guitar. Alright? I'll just make sure it's not, it's not too thick. Right, I'm not using an effects board. I'm just running everything through Logic Pro X right there. All right, so um, yeah, we want to start with the D minor. A lot of people get it wrong and start with the A minor, but it's it's the D minor you start on the D minor, right there. Right, to get the D minor fifth fret, point a finger. Place the middle finger on the second string, 6th fret. Place the pinky finger on the 3rd string, 7th fret. And the ring finger on the 4th string, 7th fret. <coughs> My bad. Now, as for me, when I play this song, I use the minor 7s. Alright? To get the minor 7, just with the pinky finger. Alright? And there you go. Now, you want to move to the A minor 7. Still bar the 5th fret and place the pinky finger on the 5th string 7th fret. So those are just two cards to the song. Now, the strumming for this song is a double skank. All right, so it's not a, it's a double scan. All right. To get that, right, you wanna remember it's reggae. You want to mute the strings. That's most important. Alright? So it's a one strike. What I do when I strike, I keep the palm there. You know? Now the striking and the, the hand that is holding the cards are supposed to sing, you know? So look at this. Alright? So you want to apply the pressure holding the cards, but not too much like you want to break the guitar neck. Right? So when you strike, you squeeze and release almost instantly, but just enough to mute the string. So you don't wanna you don't wanna release it, you wanna and keep the fingers there still on the strings. Alright, so here we go. So 
So once you strike down, you pick up and you squeeze and release with this hand. Here we go. And I say, here comes trouble, here comes the danger. Welcome the savior, welcome the Rasta youth. And this plays right throughout the song. Now every now and then you can, you know, add your little double skank, your double double stops or whatever. You know, I do that. Just to sweeten it up a little bit, you know what I mean? So now you wanna place those like after every eight bar. How you know? So you're not gonna fill it up too much. You're not gonna fill the song up too much with that because then it's going to sound monotonous. It's, it's, it's not gonna sound like reggae. Alright? Remember it takes discipline to play reggae. What you're supposed your main part is to hold. So reggae is not like one of those genres that you're all over the place you're playing. You know, it takes discipline. You have to keep it steady. All right, that is reggae. Remember. Let's move on to the stock line. A stock line is a guitar line that accompanies the bass line. So whatever I play here, majority of the times, 95% of the times, the, the guitarist plays whatever the bass is playing and that's the lead guitarist playing a stock line doesn't mean you're just gonna play the notes the feel is very important very important remember that all right so you know you're not, it's not gonna sound like remember you need to rest the palm there for it to silent a little bit you see it has this hollow sound that's what you're looking for all right and it's not going to ring out too much all right so here we go i'm going to play it slow and you guys follow here we go from here now remember i'm just letting it ring out right now because i want you guys to hear what's going on Again. You're going to hammer on. So it sounds like this. That's the first part of the stock line. Again. Second part. So here we go.
line and that is how you play chronics here comes trouble on electric guitar stock line and some easy you know guitar cards now if this tutorial was helpful you know the drill put it down there in the comment section remember to like share comment most importantly do not forget to subscribe do not forget to subscribe my name is Diane. see you next time with another tutorial blessed love peace out